Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back. That's right, we get another go, folks, okay? So, as you know, we got bamboozled at the auction. They said, we got four fainting goats. I said, I want all four. Right them home, none of them faint. Okay, we got absolutely scammed, okay? So, that video came out, some time passed, and a viewer reached out and said, hey, I see you got bamboozled on the old, uh, the old go faint goat deal. I got a faint goat, guaranteed to faint. His name's Romeo and he's got nuts. You want him? I said, no. Nah because he's got nuts. And they said, what if we give him the old Jerry treatment, snip his nuts, and he's good to go? I said, I'll take him. So today, we are gonna go pick up our new fainting goat, Romeo, who's nutless, who should not be able to breed with the other fainting goats, but the viewer said he is guaranteed to faint. So I have personally never been in the presence of a fainting goat. It's been a lifelong dream of mine. Hopefully today is that day. With that being said, we've got these guys, good Lord, at any moment, at any moment, this I sucker. Big in the county. She is, so big, this is it's getting scary. I'm getting nervous right now because at any moment we're gonna come out, there's gonna be piglets on the ground, and we're gonna be Chinese fire drilling some freaking extra little posts here and some extra. I, I I just don't know how close she is to being like at some I mean I know at some point we need to make the divider. Right now they're just two Really? I wasn't saying they're two peas in a pot, then they just but you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to separate them premature, but I also don't want to come down here and have a bunch of piglets that are on the ground. And I, like, I feel like when she's ready to give birth, she's got to be able to lay on the side and just like. Yeah. You'll, you'll be able to tell like, that. and at that point, that's when I feel like we separate her and wherever she's at, leave her, kick the other one out to the other side, build them another shade sack, build them another, uh, another fence. I think that's probably the best way of doing it because again right now I don't want to separate them they do they are like you know little besties but once the babies come out that's something that we, we do have to address so anyways these guys are already fed I'll just give you guys a quick update she's definitely pregnant I don't believe she is hopefully we have piglets sometime soon but more importantly okay you guys probably don't even I don't know if this video is out yet so spoiler alert but some of the Guggens came in town and showed them around and we took them to the exotic auction and I let one rod pick out an animal and he picked out something for our friend Theodore so you guys know we got the world's largest rabbit Theodore or we thought we go to the auction and we see another rabbit larger than Theodore believe it or not and it was a female and I'm like wait that means Theodore's got a broad he might be stoked so we picked this girl up and we brought her back and she is she's way bigger than Theodore I thought Theodore was the world's largest this girl right here this right here is the world's largest rabbit holy smoke go go next to Theo go, go next to Theodore let's see Theo what's up pal hey buddy How's it going? You come right up to me. Don't bite the croc though, buddy. Dude, she is, this is the biggest thing I've ever seen. she is massive in comparison to Theodore. Theodore's a big boy. She's a big girl. Theo, you've been, you've been enjoying yourself, Theo? Theo, 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 no, 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 no. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's trying to bite the croc. Okay, he Theo, why don't you go play with your broad? So, the other thing is once we release them, within six seconds, Theodore was just a vibrating little sucker. Like really? he was brr, 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 brr. Like you say blanking like rabbits. Hey, they ain't messing around, son. So, right there, she has, there's a potential that she is now bred with big hey. Theo. Oh, deal she yeah, that's that's that what the kid? that's what the females have. That's their extra skin. It's like having like a like it's ready for when they have babies, and then that's what like they're oh, they yeah. Fluffy, yeah 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 yeah. So stuff. they if 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 they have that, it's a female, and it's something to do with the, like giving them room for the babies. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, see, she's she not is, she's, she's not as nice as Theodore, but she look how big she is. I mean, that's the size of a small dog. Like Finn. yeah, I say Finn's bigger than her. So she's not quite as tame. Like Theodore literally came out just for scratches. Yeah, I he mean, likes his scratches. Theodore's hanging out. Theo's shedding. Is he really? Oh, yeah. It's he's getting hot, Theo. Spoils. He's losing it. It's getting hot. So we got Theo abroad, long story short, and they've been getting out. So she is a, a Flemish giant, and he's a lop. English lop. English lop. So are you supposed to crossbreed them? I don't know. All I know is whatever offspring they have, they'll be bigger than hell, and there's a 50-50 chance if they got the old lop flop ears or just the, the straight-up normal Flemish. But she, look how large she is. Should I try picking her out? Yeah. We got to look at Theo. He's just laying here. Theo. Tell your girlfriend we're nice, okay? Tell her we're here to hang out. Play. You're okay? Oh, well, it's all right. Go hang out with Theodore. Look at, look at, look at, dude. She's way bigger than Theo. Way bigger than Theo. Honey, you want to, can I hold you? Look, watch her scratch Theodore. Look, Theo likes it. She's look, about it. Theo likes it. See? Me and Theo, we're good buddies here. Come here, Theodore. How them ears looking? Actually, not bad. For a while, he had these little ticks in there, but it looks like they got, what's... You sniffing Theo? Easy, my fingers are not carrots. Can I hold you? Look at how nice, dude. Even though she's big and really cool, like, look at Theo. The deal, yeah. Like Theo, buddy, you're just the nicest big freaking bunny, dude. 
Hey. So we gotta name her. You guys gotta come up with a name. We got Little and Debbie as the pigs, and we gotta name Big Sheila. Maybe her name is Big Sheila. I feel like it's pretty Theo fitting. Theo and Big Sheila? Theo and Big Sheila. Come on, Theo. What do you think, buddy? Uh oh. Uh oh. Theo, we don't need a performance right. Theo, we don't need a performance right now, Theo. We we all know you're capable. You don't need to show it off to the to the viewers, okay? So either way, I've seen them do the deed multiple times. Theo's a he's a producing little guy. So we're gonna find out here soon. Hey, what the Sheila, you're gonna be alright. Were you never held as a child? What's going on? Sheila. She Sheila's not about it. She said we got, Sheila's going to need some work. we got to come down and hang out. But it is crazy seeing the difference, though. I'm glad we got Theo. Yeah, Theo, chill. Theo, keep it up, pal. Keep producing, buddy. All right, Sheila, we'll leave you. I guess we're going to name her Big Sheila. I feel like that's the most fitting. We always call everything Big Sheila. We've never owned something that's worthy of the name Big Sheila. She is. That, that thing is worth the, the name there. So, all right, hang out, Theodore. And Big Sheila. Let's see if she's she in here. Is she hanging out? Big Sheila. Theo, let's see it, Theo. Whoa. Hey. What are you guys doing? Hi. What are you doing? Oh, okay. All right. Well, you guys have fun. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. All right. Those guys are good to go. Let's go feed the rest of the big animals. Shoo! All right. What are you doing? Hey, how you doing, buddy? You're, you're the nicest turkey. Do we ever name that turkey? Oh, actually, you guys did. Albert. Oh, yeah. For it, some reason, y'all were horny about Albert. Like, is there is Albert the name of, like, a large turkey in a cartoon or something? Because, like, dude, no Albert. Y'all were just revved up about the name Albert. And I was like, what's 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 Albert's deal? I don't really know. So that's Albert, okay? You guys just wanted Albert. That's Big Al right there. Big Al. Hey, how you doing? How's the weather up there, pal? You hanging in there? Why are y'all muddy? You trying to get them flies off you? Them flies are just something right now. We got to get some more chickens at some point to help with the flies. That was the actual original reason why we got so many chickens back at the old house was to help with the fly population because they'll eat their, eat the larva and stuff like that. Now all of our chickens are dead, well, for the most part. We got to get a lot more newt. Like, I'm thinking we might need to add some roost poles in that because that, that coop's huge, right? Like, that coop could hold a ton. So we need maybe add another rack of roost poles. Oh, yeah. And I'm well, thinking get 75, 50 to 75, I would say. There it is, Ralph. It. There it is, Ralphie. Yep, spray it, Ralph. He, watch, he's gonna go and he's gonna roll in this dirt. That's what he's been doing. He yep. never did that at the old house. I don't, watch him. Here you go. Come on, Ralph, lay down and do it. Let's see it. Let's see. Oh, you're not gonna. Or are you? He loves rolling around in the dirt. They they put the dust on them and that helps with the flies. And so, anyways, that's what's going on here. But yeah, we got Albert. Albert's hanging out. And then look, the non-fainting goats over there. The scamming, fainting, non-fainting goats are, are hanging out right over there. Uh, there's four of them, uh, one mom and, and three babies. So we should be able to, we, like I said, Romeo, which is the name that he's coming with. If you guys don't like the name, we can change it. But I mean, I think Romeo's fine. Romeo doesn't have nuts. They said they banded him. So I didn't want Romeo breeding with these goats because I'm just like, oh God. Last thing we need is just a bunch of accidental babies again and all that stuff. So I was like, let's ban Romeo. But as long as he faints, I will take him. So anyways, the animals are doing great. They're all hanging out. Everything's doing good. The Muscovies, not an egg in sight from the Muscovies. Okay, uh, those guys are also a scam. So if we do want to downsize the farm, Muscovies and non-fainting goats, they could get out of here and I wouldn't have a problem with that. Okay, because they don't, they're, they're, they're okay. The goats are nice. Brooklyn likes them. Uh, but they don't, they're not like super friendly. They don't let you pet them. So they're not, they don't bring a whole lot to the table to be honest. And like I said, they don't faint. So I'm just like, what the same hell? Anyways, Ralph's hanging out. Carol, how's it going, Carol? Greg, you're quiet today, Greg. What you, Greg, come on, Greg. Greg, everybody loves when you, come on, Greg. Everybody loves when you get pissed at me, Greg. Big boy. Hey, Greg, what are you doing, Greg? Hi, Carol. How you doing, sweetie? It's been a while. Hi. Hi. Greg, you're quiet all of a sudden? What's going on? Did you? Is it because of you? Albert, did you quiet Greg down? Greg, what's going on, Greg? Everybody loves when you got something to say, because you always do. I wonder, do you think he quieted him down? I He's not the he alpha thinks, anymore? I think he thinks that's Pedro. Pedro used to kick his butt. Yeah, Pedro did used to... Greg! Come on, Greg! Greg! Speak up, Greg! Let's hear it. Come here, Greg. Greg, you want some food? Do you think if he gets some grain, you think he got horny? Yeah. Come on, Greg. Yeah, you can, let's grab a scoop. Let's grab a scoop. Let's see. What's with my boy Greg? Like for a while, I was like, "Man, Greg, shut up!" And I'm like, "Hey, man, what's the deal?" Kind of miss when Greg gets pissed, starts biting my ankles and stuff. Come on, Greg. Ralphie, here you go, Greg. You want some grain, buddy? There you go. There, Greg's running. Away. Is it the turkey? Is it Albert? Here you go, Greg. Come on, Greg. Get him, Greg. Look at you, dude. He is on, being Greg. scared. What are you doing, Greg? I don't like the turkey. Greg, Albert. That's what I'm saying, Albert. Hold your ground. Wonder if they figured out the pecking order. That's the only thing I can really think of. But that chicken's been trying to get across the fence here for the last 20 minutes. I've been watching pace. They can perfectly fly, by the way. So I got—I don't really know what to say to that guy. Anyways, uh, anyway, animals are good. Everything's good. Everything's alive. We also have not caught any raccoons in like a week and a half, and we still have all the traps out. Like there's, well, there's cage trap there, but there's dog proofs all the way down. It's crazy. Like you set traps and you just freaking, whoosh, you wipe them out. 
and they won't be back for months. Yeah. And you're like, I freaking won. And then, wah bam, they kill everything you own. You okay. Think we're safe to get more chickens. Again I think now? we're safe. I think we. I think we are. I think we're safe to get more chickens. Either that, or the raccoons know what a dog proof is now. Highly unlikely, but there is a possibility of that being the case. So I think we are ready for some chickens. More importantly, we are ready to finally actually have a fainting goat on the property. So we're gonna jump in the truck. We're gonna head out and go pick up our boy Romeo. Stay tuned. All right, well, we made it back, went to the farm where we got the, well, where the fanny goat was supposed to be. And we had a whole farm there. Well, we picked up our new friend, this big boy. This is, Rick, you're in, for, you, listen, you are, you are not going to be the top dog anymore. And you, you definitely aren't going to be the top dog anymore. Because we got the big, bad mamma jamma. That's Romeo. <laughs> How you doing, Rome? I'll be honest, I haven't seen a faint yet. So don't, 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 here, but here's what they said. They said, if he's like really worked up, like real scared, let's see, he's got nuts. I thought you didn't have nuts, Rome. What do you, Rome? I told <laughs> you, Rome. Romeo, I told you, no nuts. So they got a band on them. I think they're, they're pretty uh, dried up. But they said, like, if you, try to scare them too much they're like their anxiety will like override the faint it's like you just gotta like subtly do it and catch them off guard she also said if you get really excited about something like yeah brain, he might just bounce the, around yeah. and faint and then they might just say, hey buddy he is a biter though dude yeah he's a nibbler you got a nibble? No, he's not a nibble. You you were nibbling on me earlier when I was holding you. How you doing, big boy? So he uh, he had to be separated from his mom and sister so he doesn't breed them. Not good. Uh, and I was like, yeah, take him out here. So huge shout out to the subscriber for reaching out. And I said, we don't know if he faints yet. And, th and this may be one of those things we may have to release him today and let him get acclimated. Either come back tonight or like tomorrow and like again try to do like the subtle scare because he might just be too like we've tried to do it and he don't. He don't do nothing. He gets used to it and figures out like the rest of them when the mule comes down the road. Yeah, then maybe time, he, he they maybe he goes crazy. And... We think of big Romy. What you doing? You and Dale gonna hang out? So there, we do have we separated all the big animals except for Carol was on this side, which she's okay. But we got Ralph over there because we last thing we need is big Rome getting curb stomped. Yeah, that, that wouldn't be good for anybody. Uh, and then one of the small goats is under the trailer, which we're actually gonna go check her out. Why she's separate from the other three is odd. So I gotta make sure she's okay. I, it looks like one of the little ones. It doesn't look like the mom, but it's kind of difficult to see. So we're. We're gonna bring Rome in here and we're gonna see what the animals think. Hopefully he doesn't get attacked. Rick, Rick, you gotta move. Rick, you gotta, he didn't move. Rick, Rick yeah. hey, yeah. you gotta move, Rick. All right, well, we're just gonna have to get in here. Rick's right, just in. being stubborn. Hey, you don't, this ain't the day to do it. This ain't the day. Hey, what are you doing, big guy? <laughs> Rick, Rick you gotta be Romeo's protector, Rick. What do you think, Rick? You're just sitting out here baking in the sun. What's this. big Romeo doing? Look at Romeo, what do you think? New friend. See, we got lots of, hey, 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 no, no, no. Bad Rick. What the, I'll beat your ass. Don't, Bad why Rick. would you do that? Are you out of your God forsaken? He sniffs the nuts. Dude, I will, this dude, is this is not the time. You had your entire episode dedicated to you to fight us. You lost your opportunity. Rick, I will curb stomp your ass if you hurt my buddy Romeo. What the hell? What? Dale, get off the... Dale, get off. Come here. Come see Romeo, Dale. I can't believe you tried to headbutt him. Rick's pissed. What in the hell? It's the nuts. Is it? You uh, think he sniffs them nuts? Hey, look. They, they're they they're banded. No, 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 no. Stop, you kinky... Romeo. No, no kinky. No. Come here, Dale. Here, let's go see what Dale thinks. Rick, you've acted like you're on your deathbed for two months. Now we get Romeo and you're all amped up. What is that? Can you not? Can you not follow me right now? Be nice. New friend. Be nice to be. New hey, friend. Rick. No, Bad. no, Bad not Rick. not with the ears. Be nice. It was big Romeo. Hey, Rick, dude, kinky boy. That's enough. He, Are you out of your godforsaken? Stop. <laughs> what is going on right now? Carol, come here, Carol. Carol, Carol will be all right. I swear to God, he's trying to sneak attack on me. He's like, he wanted to catch me off guard. Like, oh, I'm just a nice big turkey. I don't hurt anybody. Oh, bam. He'll kill you. Should we go see what this little goat's doing under the trailer? Are you okay? Why are, where's your mom? Where's your siblings? We got you a little boyfriend. All right, she's fine. She's chilling. You're chilling? Don't bite the ears. Look, you see Romeo? This is gonna be the little boy toy. He ain't got no nuts. What's that? Should we let him rip or no? You might take care of it because there's a good chance I'm gonna RKO this freaking big goat if he starts to get Western. Look at her, she's interested. Hey, you wanna see Romeo? You, this, you were supposed to faint. Romeo actually faints. Okay. Supposedly. So, well, we haven't seen it yet. I'll be honest with you. Chase, we got scammed twice. But these guys seemed like very respectable individuals, trustworthy viewers. So we're going to have the benefit of the doubt. All right, go run around, Romeo. <laughs> you don't this is bulls. Hey, oh, hey, really? hey, hey, hey. Really? No. What the? No. <laughs> Dale. Get him. Get him. 
You get it. Oh, see? Oh, they're kissing. Look Aww. at that. Aww. Look at them. They're so nice. You got to show Romeo around. Show him around. Don't don't fight. Romeo, don't fight. He's getting on, Ray. I like these little goats. I know. They're fun. Now, I feel like at this point, we need to build them their own pen for so, a like a broken pen. little petting zoo. I feel like we've got enough little guys because this sucker, he's too freaking big, aren't you? You're a big boy. You're a big boy. Well, Rick pouted for two weeks and now he's back. I thought, he was, I thought he was dying. She's getting closer to Carol. We'll see what happens. Carol can sometimes get Western with new animals. Yeah. So there's a chance. Now, there's too. a chance we're going to have to get. You going to take Carol out? No. <laughs> I'll try though. For anything for my boy Romeo. Who the hell? Carol. Be nice, Carol. Carol, be nice. Isn't it crazy how they know? Yeah. How they, they're like, oh, that guy's not oh, been here. Oh, Romeo was up on all, like, his hind legs. Romeo, no fighting. Carol's too big. You see big Rome? Oh, Romeo. Sheesh. Oh, Romeo's hanging out. I mean, God bless. See, they're friends. I'm, I don't know why. Oh, there comes the other little goat. Do so you think they're, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah, call him in. Oh, He's running. They're running. Call him in. We got more goats like you. Look at them. Go get them. <laughs> they see They're talking. talking. Yo. Romeo's coming. Romeo's like, wait, is that my mom? Wait, more friends? Rip. Sorry, Rome. We took you from your mom, but it's for the, for the greater good. We don't need you to impregnate your mother or your sister. Trust me on that. Well, There's a whole goat Why do you have so many goats? Why do you have so many goats? Why are there so Hey, I will. He is, dude. Yeah, he's sneaky. He he's is, sneaky. too. If you, I will, I have no problem ringing next, buddy. You <laughs> stop right there, all right? Carol's dude, over it. The goats Car like him, though. Look at these. Why do we have so many goats on the side? Where are you guys headed? Don't go over there, Romeo. Don't let them take you to the dark side. You never know how Ralph's gonna feel. Also, Carlos, not a fan of nuts either. Don't make me do it. Big boy, how you doing? You see Romeo? Are you gonna protect Romeo? Ah, damn, Red that singed nostril hair, son. You like Romeo? I think we'll keep them separate for the day. Maybe tonight we'll let them, we'll let them back loose. But I don't know if we're gonna be able to get Romeo to faint at like today. It, yeah. I don't know why this is so difficult. I see these YouTube videos and like anything, all of a sudden they drop. Romeo, not the case. Dale. Dale. Get your wife. Dale, why are you so thick? Come on, Dale. I feel like we, that we need a new petting zoo pen for that. Yeah, we need a new pen for the little goats. I feel like it's necessary. That if we extended this the hog pen, they mm -hmm. could live with pigs. It's just oh, the yeah. feed would be the only thing we'd have to maybe look at and see if the hogs can live off of just sweet feed. Because the pigs don't do nothing. The pen's already there. We could just blow it out that way and that way and like double the double or triple the size of it and just have goats and pigs. The pigs are, are Brooklyn friendly right now. Yep. So we could have goats that are Brooklyn friendly, pigs that are Brooklyn friendly. Then on the other side, you got the rabbits and then here are all the dangerous animals. Should we try to scare this goat one more time? Yeah. I've been spotted. I got scammed again. <laughs> he, don't faint. he don't faint. How do you make him faint? All right, well, we're going to let everything calm down for the day. Come back tomorrow. If he don't faint, I'm selling everything. All right, boys. It's been four days. Our boy Romeo, he doesn't, he doesn't know that we're here. He at least suspects it. He's laying down taking a nap in the grass right now. We've got Ralph who's coming towards us. So we got to make sure he doesn't tip Romeo off. How do you feel? Do you think it's possible? I got an air horn. A big one. Damn, she brought a giant loud. air horn. Tried it in the parking lot. It's very loud. Really? Because the lady said he's guaranteed to faint. She also said, though, like, if you really try scaring him, he won't get scared. It's when he le kind of just, like, is chilling there. So should we, like, walk up to him? That's why I don't, like, casually, I don't hey, know. Romeo, what's up? <laughs> get him for <before> the... <laughs> just light his ass up with an air horn. Like, we're, like, we're not trying to, like, you know, hurt the thing, but I just got to see if I got screwed over again or not. I'll keep an eye. You go ahead and sneak out. Okay, he's deaf, too, so this air horn might not work because he didn't hear that door open. <laughs> he didn't move at all. You seen this sucker faint or no? Ralph's like, dude, stop buying goats. This is getting out of hand. We don't need any more of these suckers. Oh, shit. Okay, all right, all right. He, he, he doesn't see us yet. He doesn't see. He, we have yet to be spotted. He's just taking a nap. Dude, he's literally laying down, just taking a nap. Do you think the air horn would make him on alert and then it would be shot, our shot would be shot after I think that? We should walk up to him, get him to like stand and like and then, and then yeah. just hit him with the Jake can go the whole okay. bootstrap first. Okay, all right. Might also be blind. He has yet to spot us. Romeo! What up, buddy? Hey, how you doing? What's up, buddy? You gonna faint or no? You ready? <laughs> we, we got scammed again! 
How does this happen? Romeo. I mean, that scared, that scared him. him. He didn't faint. Romeo. What in this? Dude, I got scammed twice. This is bullshit. He did. Romeo, there's no way. God bless. I'm dead. <laughs> I can't hear anything now. That I think we got scammed dude, again. It scares him. Every time he like flinches. No, we definitely got scammed. I gotta ask the owner. Do you have a video of the sucker? Because I feel like he he doesn't faint. What? I don't believe it. There's these, no. These ones faint. Yeah, these guys are supposed to faint. They don't faint. Yes, right. we tried on yeah, them. You ready? Yeah, they're coming. Hang on, let me get a little closer. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is bullshit. This is fucking stupid. God damn it. <laughs> Shoo! All right. Well, I'll call an audible. Okay. Oh, We're at another oh, goat farm, and we got. Oh! 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 We got it, apparently there's fainters here. Once we see one faint, we're taking it back because we're not going home without a fainting goat. It's gonna have to happen. I have yet to see one faint. I saw one stiffen up. Haven't seen one faint yet. Which one is? This little guy right here. So fainting goats don't faint. Oh, no. oh, one's down! He's down! He's down! He's down! Man down! It's alright. You alright, buddy? You alright? Wow. You got it. Is that a boy or girl? That's a boy. Alright, we'll take him. That's, That's a nice so goat. funny. That is crazy. Boy. We finally, for the first time in my life, it's not as easy to faint them as you would think, though. So there's a chance some of the other ones will faint. It's just, you gotta just get them, I guess, in the right moment, I guess. Oh, Jake got her. All right, you little faint son of a gun. <laughs> Cutie. That's right, buddy. That looks like a little cute guy. That is a cute You're little gonna fella. hang out with Romeo, huh? All right. He's, Proof that he faints. And his Proof. Is really It'll be interesting cool. when we bring him back, because cool. that wasn't that easy to make happen. But we did make it happen. Yeah, we'll see you guys the house. Shoo! It didn't do it. I was, I was, I was, I gave it all I had. I thought you were gonna faint on the shoe, no? Rip. Well, we got this guy. We did. We got to name him. We, we we figured. Listen, we might as well keep him. Well, we might as well keep Romeo and this guy. This guy confirmed faints. And if we separate them, we're thinking about building another enclosure, maybe that side of the uh, hog pen. And that would just put all like all the little goats, not Rick and Dale. Rick and Dale could say those are goats are so small. Plus, this guy has nuts. Even though we banded Romeo, this guy's got nuts. He could potentially breed with the other non-fainting goats. And the lady said that the fainting goats I have now are probably half fainters. And so if he breeds with them, they'd be three-quarter fainters. We'd maybe have a better probability of them fainting. And then we could just start selling baby three-quarter fainting goats. He's got nuts. Look at him. Sack? He's got nice goat nuts right there, buddy. Well, we, it's confirmed he does faint. Will the, It's interesting because I just thought fainting goats always fainted all the time. She explained, like, it, it, it kind of has to be a situational deal where they have to be in the right element. And if they're, like, too, listen, Rick, if they're too scared, they won't faint. And so we're gonna set him in here. We speaking of Rick, we got just Rick out here. None of the other animals, they're all up in the big pasture. You calm down, Jimmy, okay? Should we call him Jimmy? But Jimmy might be the name for him. Jimmy! Get Romeo. Jimmy! Put him down, see what he does. Yeah, go ahead and put him down. Alright, Jimmy. Go Get him, Jimmy. Get him, Jimmy. So with him having nuts, we'll have to just keep an eye out. I mean, he's he's little, like he's also quick. He should be fine. As far as like some of the other animals, like Carlos and Ralph, will sometimes get a little squirrely when you get males with nuts in the in the pen with them. So we'll just make sure he doesn't obviously get his butt beat up. But hey, how you doing? You get you getting you getting a little bit more confident? What do you think? Are you gonna fight me? No, he's still a little wiener. So like I said, he has fainted. Like confirmed. I we showed up to the lady's house. I said I ain't buying it unless it faints. But he went full stiff. So he did faint. Will he faint if we chase him around right now? I don't know. We're, I guess we're about to find out. So we're gonna see Jimmy here. I mean, we're sticking with Jimmy unless you guys dislike Jimmy. If you dislike Jimmy, you guys have to let me know. But I wanna see if he faints. <laughs> he got a little stiff. He got stiff. I saw him. <laughs> He's quick. Jimmy! Jimmy, get stiff, Jimmy. Get stiff, Jimmy. Jimmy, get stiff. Jimmy's not getting stiff. What the hell? Jimmy! Jimmy, you're, you, did you get stiff over there, Jimmy? We can't be doing that with Ralph in here, though. Yeah, I was going to say, if Ralph was in here, you'd be kicking our ass. They're all on pasture right now. They'll be coming back tonight. So, we did find technically a fainting goat. I, I think building a new enclosure, putting all the small goats together, and I feel like, because that could be Brooklyn's little petting zoo right next to the pigs, because all those goats are super nice, including Romeo. Like, even though, again, Romeo's banded, I think they'd be fine. I don't think they would fight too much together. They're both little guys. That's what we're thinking. At this point, we would have six little goats. I feel like it's time for their own pen. And that way, guys with them? these guys, 
Oh this God, guy. I feel like he, Rick's got to stay oh. with the big dogs. Rick, Rick would probably beat their ass. So I think put him and the other five little goats together, build them a new little petting zoo. We already have a shack over there, that little brown shack's already hanging out. And that could be Brooklyn's petting zoo because Brooklyn loves to come down here and get in the pen, not with these guys, but with like the, the pigs. And so it'd be nice for her to go interact, especially with like little Romeo and little Jimmy over here. It would be good for her to go interact with them. I just don't obviously trust them coming up over here. Do you, I say, do you see his wing? Yeah, what happened here? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Something might have got a hold of him. Uh-oh. Something definitely got a hold of him. Rip. We got freaking raccoons back out here? What? Is he tore up pretty good? Oh, yeah. It's up on his side. It's on his wing. He Some, ripped the feathers out of his wing. Something tried to tear him up. Not the turkey. We only got two of these guys left. You're supposed to protect. Are you kidding? Yeah, what? What are you doing? He's You're supposed baby. to. He is. Weenie. Rick. What do you think of big boy? I wish you could imagine. Hey. Hey. No, no, no. I wish Rick fan. Can you imagine? Just <laughs> dong. He ain't about it. Well, we did get a faint goat, okay? I, 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 after this, after the second round of getting screwed over, I was like, listen, stop the video. Let's find faint goats. We found faint goats about the faint goat. Will he faint in our presence? I have no idea. Oh, he's in the barns. That's a good opportunity. So maybe it's our farm. Maybe we have a non-fainting environment. They just don't faint here. They just don't faint here. Hey, you put your fan the other direction. Okay, I don't want to see it. Maybe they just, they don't like fainting here. He's got a little nut sack. So we'll have to see. Like I said, I, I feel like maybe it's like they have to be somewhat kind of like confident and secure and feel safe, then they faint, which sounds completely opposite, but that should, everyone keeps saying stuff like that. So I don't know, let us know. Should we, should we keep them all or do we just sell them all? Do you say, listen, these faint guns aren't really that cool because they don't even actually really faint on command. Like, you know, right when you scare him, I thought it was like, you come down every day, bam, he's out. Maybe we sell them all or we build them a new pen for Brooklyn. You guys let us know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys are ready to say, hey, peace.